we are making pizza dough. Um, we're gonna do our first pizza night of our summer cruise with our friends tonight. Bill started the yeast and it's really popped off. I don't yeah, know. I've I guess never, the temperature was so hot, maybe. I've I don't know. I've never seen yeast get that excited to become dough. And Dull Summer Camp continues 2023. We like to season our dough. This time I put, um, for some reason I use the Portuguese word for oregano. I like that word. Orgos, basil, ground rosemary, and marjoram, and salt. Bill likes salt in his dough. Euro. Be such a good dough. Excited for pizza night. This is gonna be a good day. I think we tried on the barbecue because it's hot. Yeah, we bought pizza stones. So we've never done that before. I don't know what pizza stones are actually. I, I put them away. Okay. Anywhere they are. I squirreled them away. And we're using whole wheat and white mix for flavor. Oh, oh yeah. Olive oil on there. And we are gonna set it here to rise. Making pizza on anchor is one of our favorite things to do. And despite the heat here in the Sea of Cortez, we're moving forward full throttle. Look at that guy. Oh, that looks pretty good. Get a little pesto on one of these pizzas. We're gonna do pesto, I have some garlic, chicken. It's canned chicken, but. Are you gonna do sauce too, or just the pesto sauce? Just the pesto. Okay. okay. Hello there, Wheezy. Pizza ready? That's pretty good. Oh wow, fantastic. Yeah. This is the pesto chicken one? this is one. the pesto one we're about to cut. Okay, taste test time. Mmm, danger. Sounds good. Mm, not bad. Delicious. What do you think, Weezy? Are you serious right now? <laughs> it's so good. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Bill was having trouble getting it up. Nice <laughs> <laughs> suction to the counter. Damn it! You got that, Wendy. I think we did good! Good again. Trust us. Yeah, we did. Another proud done yourself moment of working out with us. 100%. We don't, camp, we don't camp out here. <laughs> There is pretty high wind forecast in the NAM bottle tonight in the middle of the sea and mainland, north and east of Isla Tiburon. This is a good night to pay attention. Oh, lovely. <laughs> well, shit. Well, shit. <laughs> I'm carb loaded, ready to go, kids. <laughs> uh, why? This is fun. must be the season of stuff on the anchor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm start smelling an anchor after this. Rip it all up. Well, the wind is not in the right direction, but it's pretty light. So we're taking advantage and Gonna do that little hop down to our southernmost point this morning at 7 a.m. and it's a beautiful morning. I'm gonna be filming a lot of birds and water and things and I don't know, maybe if the wind shifts, we'll get the sails up. We'll see. Do you think there's any chance? We'll see if we get out there. It's so hard to tell like in these little bays. Everything's so localized. Yeah. Right now we're creating all the wind though, it's dead. Yep. Uh, very cool. Well, we'll send my 
So Crystal and Craig have lifted anchor and they've left just about 15 minutes before us. So they're ahead of us and headed to the same spot today, which we think is gonna be about 20 miles south. The moon is still up. I know, I've been trying to get the moon Looks on like, uh, film, like it. It's like some like... alien landscape, like Tatooine or something, it's horrible. It does look like an alien landscape. Where are we? And it was a King uh, full moon last night. So I am going to be looking for whale sharks the whole way down because the place we're going to next is supposedly where the whale sharks are. It's like the hot spot. Um, and last year we just weren't there that long, but when we were there, we heard that they were around. We just didn't have time to like go to the right spot. So here's hoping. I'm gonna be eyes glued. A little bit. Pretty much from now until yeah, the end. And it's a little bit calmer, so maybe you could actually see something on the water as opposed to like the chop we've been in lately. Yeah, so. that's that's why I wanted to go this morning, even though there's no wind, because it's better for animal spotting. Karen is ripping right now. I'm so glad we didn't go yesterday. We thought about it, but it blew up to like 20, 25. It would have been pretty choppy in here, right? They would have been wind against current. Yeah, or and wind current. we really picked the time, right? Not intentionally, but <laughs> I guess that king tide. We're going with the current. Yeah, so, so. that's a win. Like a current patch here. Crazy current to the Sea of Cortez. And just see the water there and there, that's all current, and then those little patches, little foam that we saw last year that was floating in the current patches. I don't know why. Butterfly flew in with the, oh! Don't go. Slippery. <laughs> it feels like it's gonna be a hot one. It's 9 a.m., it's about 90 degrees, and there's something in the air, or lack of air. It's only a very slight breeze coming in. That makes me concerned about today. Yeah. We've gotten lucky because the air conditioning has been kind of staying in the boat overnight though, which is really nice. Yeah. We haven't opened our hatches all night and just kind of traps cold air down here. But we have like a lot of work to do, like computer work, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. It's definitely hotter than last year. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely hotter than last year. So after we came in yesterday, we dropped the hook and real life we actually worked all day. There was like multiple times where we thought about taking a break and doing a paddleboard to look for whale sharks, but this video is a beast that we're working on right now and it was so hot. It and still it was kinda kinda had mixed feelings about it. It was the first time we were like, I don't know if we wanna swim right now. The air conditioning um, was that nice. Yeah, but we're in La Gringa, it's called, which is very close to the, the village Anchorage where there's a town about four miles so we just came here to see if we would get lucky with whale sharks um so far we have not <laughs> i just ran out here when i saw those pigeons because i was like maybe they're trying to tell me something um but yeah still no whale sharks out here and yeah i think we're going to be moving on today because this anchorage isn't good in southerly wind and that's supposed to be coming in so you could feel a little wrap round swell already yeah. it's only blowing five knots we could feel we're sideways a little bit to things yeah so we're just gonna be spending a hot yeah 30 hours in this place but it's really pretty our element is ready element to survive <clears throat> this 95 degree well maybe sail i was gonna say yeah i think we try our new spinnaker today um it's pretty light like seven eight knots but 
<clears throat> it's pretty thick, so we gotta make sure it fits the sock right. You know, new, so it'd rather be lighter than something that's squirrely yeah. on me. So um, I think we're trying to raise this like lazy sail the three miles down. It's like, hey, it'd be kind of cool. It's all a sea trial, this whole thing, so. Well, good morning, small world. I assume no whale shark sightings? None as yet. Boo. I was honestly hoping to hear like you shouting over the radio at 6 a.m. <laughs> oh my god, I totally slept in. I uh, didn't do my first look until about 8.30. God, you missed it. They were here, probably. Oh, I'm sure they were here. <laughs> oh, we're the same. <laughs> well, they're still shot, and maybe when we move over to town, We'll get a second chance. Yeah, I don't think it's out of the question that they would show up anywhere we went in the bay. Yeah. Maybe they weren't here. Yeah, they're waiting for us in town. Okay, I got my sunscreen on. I'm ready to do this. <laughs> I do feel a bit of a breeze. Yeah, you not. Um, probably should do the sock before we go. <laughs> crispy spinnaker? So crispy. <laughs> Sounds so different than all of them. Okay. Start raising her. Oh, the breeze holds that fun. I feel like it's increasing like a little bit. Yeah, we just have to go four miles. We've been going three knots. Yeah. It's very well maybe mangled because we haven't launched this kite yet, so. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't judge. Small world's coming with us. We're just waiting for them to get their anchor up. Yeah, forget about this anchor alarm. single time we move the boat. What is the wind like? It's gonna be a you reach in here right now, but okay. Well. Yeah that wine's in the water. The sail looks good. Well, we're a little rusty. <laughs> we're a lot rusty. Some kind of rusty. How does she look? Pretty bright. <laughs> As soon as we got to this point and went upwind, and I couldn't carry it right any longer. Take so. it down, which a little shoddily filmed there because a little chaotic. Uh, it looked amazing for the few minutes we were sailing with it. So that was a lot of work for not a lot of return. It was blowing easterly in the anchor, I guess it was wrapping around the edge of the land, uh, but it's actually very much southerly once we left the bay. So our broad reach went to like a close reach. So the spinnaker is not cut for that. That would be more a code zero angle um, and it's a brand new kite and I did not want to do damage to it. So I quickly got it back down, but we did get to see it for the first time and sort of worked out the kinks in the sock and everything. So it was still worthwhile. And I think our friends got shots of us. Yeah, so that's cool. Pretty sweet for like the five minutes we were sailing. <laughs> Better than nothing. And now we have uh, our cool jib ski up. Cute little logo flying. Wow. We're heading that way to the village. Um, we are very, very low on supplies. We have a few potatoes, 
few onions. But yeah, this little village has a little food store and a veggie market on Sundays. And it's Friday today, so. And more importantly, gasolina. Gasolina, the, the most air important thing. And also friends. We're we have more friends to join the fray. Um, so everybody's meeting at this spot. There's supposedly a bar. Yeah. Uh, a beach bar. Um, maybe air conditioning somewhere. So yeah. Okay. It's time to look for whale sharks. I'm gonna go take the rest. Of, <laughs> gonna take the spinnaker down. Oh, no, let's just wait. Wait a little bit. You never know with the Sea of Cortez. Yeah. It's amazing. I feel some breeze. Feels good. Still doing like 4.6, 4.7, so not terrible. Just the head sail alone. Mm, We're only going three miles, but I'm still gonna put the main just for fun. I mean, I barely sailed this boat. I might even just go tack back and. Around. Like two Probably not though. <laughs> I think the GoPro died while we were filming, but Craig and Crystal just radioed to say that they see a whale shark off their port side. So we're turning around. Do you want to turn around? There's a whale shark. Exciting. Do you guys still have visual on that whale shark? Come on, Jim. It is on our bow, Crystal's going in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Crystal's going in? That's amazing. Hurry! I can hear her screaming from here. It's amazing. Yeah, she's just between, uh, yeah, just on my starboard side, about a boomerang. I don't see it. Oh, I see it. Where? Breaking? No, I don't, oh, oh, yes. Oh, it's right in front of Crystal. That's the littlest whale shark ever. It's a baby. I'm trying to hold this steady, but it is hard. So cool. Hi, Crystal. I, well, uh, no, I don't need to get in the water. Can, can we? Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. I just saw his spots come up. He's gone now. Oh, well, there he is. Tack around. That was like the smallest whale shark ever. Baby. Mm, baby. Oh, there he is. Hey, oh. Oh, wow. Oh my god! Oh my god! That is so cool! Oh, it's so cool! Oh, I can see the fin. Where is he now? He's right there. <laughs> oh, he's right there! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, he's coming over here! Oh my gosh! Oh wow! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Is that a baby whale shark or is that another fish? Wow! I hope we're capturing this. It's just eating all that krill. It's such a gentle creature. It's coming fast. Oh, it's right there. Oh my gosh. I can see it getting really close to your boat now. Yeah, I think they're head to head right now between the two of us. Ah! I 
I don't see the other one though. Do you? No. Nope. Where? Oh! Oh wow! <laughs> oh my god, they're right by their boat! Let's go home, guys! <laughs> yeah, this is a big one. Oh, he's under the water, though. Oh, it's so cool! Oh my gosh! Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, it's a big one! Oh my god! That's so cool. That's so amazing. for words right now and I I'm just shuddering to think about what this filming is gonna look like because I just yeah, I don't wanna leave but we actually didn't eat breakfast yet. because um, we just like wanted to get out and it's twelve thirty. Yeah. It took a whole day. It took a while, yeah. That was so amazing. And we had the main cell up in the middle of all that chaos. Now Bill's putting the jib back out so we can just kind of book it over to town. But, um, it looked like the whale sharks were eating the krill that was kind of coming in with the tide change, uh, which is what uh, people said they would do. And I just, I'm just kind of in shock that they did what people said they would do and they were where people said they were gonna be. Of course, now everything looks like a whale shark to me, but um, Bill did stick the GoPro in the water and I think we might have gotten a shot of him swimming by. One o'clock first meal of the day. Whoopsies. We made pasta salad yesterday. We're pretty good. Olives, cheese, chickpeas, carrots, because we're pretty low on vegetables, onion, uh, canned chicken. <laughs> Fun to sail though. We haven't really sailed yet. No, we're not. We're doing almost six knots, stop wind. This is gonna be a high that's gonna be hard to come off of. <laughs> I don't even even cool for me. I'm usually a little bit <laughs> skeptical. Not skeptical, just like indifferent. Yeah. That was really they're beautiful creatures. Yeah, they're so like graceful and so fast. Yeah, very cool. Way faster than I thought they would be. Wagon is key right now. It's an off-roader. <laughs> I'm going on a little fuel pickup mission today. Gotta have gotta, that AC. Gotta keep that air conditioning going. <laughs> I'm glad that it's running right now so that when we get back, we can go it's gonna be nice and cold. You want air conditioning and internet. You well, know where yeah. to find it. In case you were wondering, it is hot. <laughs> the things we do for air conditioning. About a 25 minute walk. Whatever, if we use 15 gallons of gas in a month, it makes our electric bill like, I don't know. $75 a month or something? I'm okay with that. Oh, man. I see you see him, that's a minute. Tranquilo. Más tranquilo. Cheers. The best part of this mission. Look <laughs> at all that gasolina. Me gusta la gasolina. It's a good thing a friendly local picked Bill and Crystal up on the way back because in town, the heat is off the charts.
What is it? Oh wow. Gorgeous. Radiant. You got us in. It was really scary. This is insane. Monte winds. They came in. We we're at the beach. Uh, it was 30 knots right now. It's supposed to gust to 40, but it it's been wrong all day. So I don't know. I didn't. I didn't get on film, but Bill actually had to jump. Uh, the engine died, we were about six feet, six to 10 feet from the boat. So he jumped in the water, grabbed onto the dinghy line and pull up, pulled the dinghy in and we got on, um, we got on on the stern. Yeah, I think the outboard is overheated, which is weird, but I guess we were probably not planning pushing hard. Uh, I hope I didn't do any damage, but I'm not gonna figure it out now. Is this supposed to do this all night? There's a hurricane passing offshore and I think it's converging with another system inland and it's creating this. Not breathe will cool it down. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> 